<coughs> Good afternoon. Welcome once again to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number 486, and the topic I phrased it as what can I do better? Which I was going to say is what I can do better, but I think I'll do it as a question, but I'll get into that in a moment. So before I jump in, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and every day I do these talks that are generally themed messages from the masculine to inspire your feminine heart. And today's number, episode number is 486, and after a rather rich conversation I had a little bit earlier, I decided to change my topic tonight, or today, to this, which is what can I do better? So let me give you context first, talk about what's going on, and then also how I can help you maybe apply it in your own life, because I figure everything that's coming through is a teaching, so why not use it? So first of all, um, I did a Facebook Live yesterday, and I also did a, did a meme, actually a, um, a post yesterday, about the proposed blacking out of women's pictures on Facebook, profile pictures um, today, which is what has been going on. I would say, to be polite, it did inspire a slight controversy. There was a lot of dialogue and some opposing views, and I felt like at some time I was being, I was being, I, I, I took myself as being attacked. It wasn't what happened, but that's what I took it as. I'm gonna be honest about this. So I had this experience with doing these um, comments and questions about, well, actually what I did was I put, I put out, I, I, I did in, on the post say an invitation or a suggestion or a what if, not everybody wants to do the, the blackout pictures. And so a couple of people got upset with that um, and made some comments. And I was totally at the point of, and this is the thing that I got clear about, thanks to the feedback I got today, that was what could I do differently? Not like you're wrong because you attacked me or how dare they think that I was right, this or the other. My response was that. And I didn't voice that, of course, at the time because it wasn't what was on my, on my awareness. But in conversation today with a friend of mine about that, because he's one of the ones that commented on it, because I saw her amped cross paths with her in a restaurant. So we had to talk about this. And it was a very, thankfully, a very, and um, she said, it's like, <laughs> oh, you're the troublemaker, let's talk. Like we joked about it, but we had a really good conversation. So where I stand right now because of what happened, because of the, the response to the post yesterday is, I'm asking myself what I can do better. And what I got clearly, thanks to my friend's input, Thank you, Florentine. Um, is how can I more effectively put myself in other people's shoes? Is the question. And this, of course, is a question we can all ask ourselves, just to be clear. Because as much as I feel this, um, what's we're looking for? This position of knowing more, more stuff than a lot of people do, which, okay, I do, doesn't make me any better than or have a better authority about certain things. And obviously, <laughs> obviously I'm not a woman so there's certain things about being a woman that I have no relationship to or understanding of or can feel for them in that, that space I can have an awareness of and have compassion for something they've been through and in fact I do a lot because having seen the last few days so many posts from friends of mine who I deeply respect for the work they do and who they are sharing their wounds their challenges their journeys and the sexual abuse domestic violence rapes, things they've been through. These, and these are lots of friends of mine, women posting this. And the frustration for me is I can't help them. Not that way. Because I want to go, I would like to go back and fix it for them, which of course is, is the solution-oriented mindset of the male. So that's what came up. I'm also aware they cannot relate to their experience, but I can certainly have compassion for them and feel for them. And that's where I'm moving to more and more in what I'm going through in my experience, because one thing of the feedback I got was it doesn't serve my audience to tell them what to do. And, I, and, I, and to be honest, I don't think I am doing that. However, that's the way it's perceived. So I'm, I'm gonna look at my own language and what I present this, because this is this may be a selfish Facebook Live now, I realize. I'm speaking, speaking about my own journey in this and my own process in this. But the deeper level I wanna to get to, this is, what, this is what I wanna to get to. I was, I was just what, realizing that I was, was skating over, so let's go deep into this. What happened this past few days, um, I say it this way, 
the the world has changed for a lot of people right now since Thursday since the hearing and what's followed since then and what's still happening since then and there's a there's different levels and layers of this and I'm simply not to get political but I want to speak to this in a certain way which is many women have been triggered touched awakened um inspired even by what happened on Thursday with Dr. Ford with her sharing and also in reaction to what um, Judge Kavanaugh did or didn't do that it's waking up a lot of people and I mentioned Mary Williamson had put a quote out and I posted it on my wall two days ago just the deal Friday that was really spoke to what's going to happen coming up in November At the same time as this process, my, I'm not, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to see if I can word this because it's sitting in my head, or sitting in my awareness, and it's not quite straight on at the moment. Part of what the challenges we're facing is we're still playing an us and them experience. Now, this is the political piece, I guess, because there are people who are on the side of Dr. Ford, and it's us against them, which is. Uh, Judge Kavanaugh's side and the people on the other side which is Judge Kavanaugh's side against everybody else so this is going on which is not helping anybody ultimately there's just a power play there's a real lack of accommodation and understanding of each other's role each other's differences each other's place and I'm feeling that there's a opportunity on a micro and a macro level micro level being individually with ourselves and relationships and everybody you know and a macro is a country and I'm not sure I can influence that but I want to just speak something to this because I'm feel like what I'm feeling is something's trying to come through and it's not clear yet. So I feel like I'm just giving you the cliff notes or the frame of something that's going to come deeper, which is I was talking to somebody else this morning about this and it feels like um, the way I said it was there's a change coming that's going to piss off a lot of people and it's gonna have a lot of people celebrating so again it's, either, it's not gonna be all the same page but what I feel it's like coming to is that there's gonna be either a massive suppression of the feminine yeah I feel that still or a massive revolution for the feminine and we as a culture we as a society we as a human race in this particular area of the world have an opportunity to decide how it goes and I'm in favor of the feminine leadership um, responsibility for this country. I'm tempted, let, me, let me see, let me see. Apologies for you watching this broadcast. It's a bit staccato and rosy. It's not as been as fluid as my normal ones. In fact, I've had some challenges in the last few days getting clear because of my own feelings about this. So I'm gonna speak about my own feelings about this. I feel we've been going down, down the wrong path for a long time this country, this culture, this society and the, the journey it's going down is one that is not respecting women that's why I call it the wrong path and something that my friend said earlier today which I'm attempting to tap back into because I was hearing about it so, and she said this that it's not and this is what she said not getting what I do but what she said this is not my job, my role to tell women how to be for their relationship and I, I don't believe I was saying that but I understand where she's coming from. It's my role, my responsibility to offer suggestions and guidance that may support you in having what you want. And that's what I believe I'm doing. And what I'm realizing more and more is that in this, this that piece of information is that we as human beings don't need anybody else to tell us what we're doing. What we as human beings are um, best at is supporting each other. And it's the support of each other that really helps us grow into a place that is um, compassionate, caring, connected, collaborative, can, uh, another C word, <laughs> consciously aware and feeling that um, we can contribute because the thing that I'm clear about is that we've had enough people telling enough people what to do and it's time to stop that. 
So part of what's coming through is that we need to have a more, is we, we need as a population to have more respect for each other, for whatever's going on, what is happening, even when we're against somebody else and very much feeling the vitriol and the upset of what's going on. So there's the thing that we can all do better, which is how do we can raise the level of respect? Now, we can keep our differences, we can still make our points, but can we do it without attacking each other? That was demonstrated on Thursday, by the way. There's this judgmental condemnation of somebody who's not like us, which is getting in the way of us being a whole people. And in our relationships especially, that's true as well. So this bottom line for me, and, and it, uh, this is one of these ones where I feel like it's clunky again. I don't want to apologize for it, but I just feel I'm not in my I'm not in my flow at this point as much as I have been as I was up until a few days ago. So there's been a few hiccups, but can you keep going because I want to get these points out. The thing I want to say is that respect is something we've we've forgotten about. I talked about that on Thursday. Actually the day of the um of the <laughs> the day of the hearing. I did a Facebook Live about respect and it was a challenging one then and I'm seeing, I'm seeing I'm coming full circle to that place again so I want to clear the energy out so I can move forward. So that's the thing we have room to do is respecting each other, respecting ourselves and to listen to what other people say. Even those that don't agree with us. That's the big work. So what I can do better and what we can all do better is listen with respect listen without answering listen to know what somebody else is saying and there's the little teaching aha there it is we have a habit of rehearsing our response to somebody's statements before they even hear what they're saying your homework my homework as well i'm taking this one as well is can we you and me both listen to somebody else without anything coming up for ourselves to respond as in we become an open vessel to hear what they're saying and when they finish st saying we stop and then we consider what say back so we listen first then we consider and then we respond versus listen and be responding before they even finish because i know it's one of my habits i've got to fix so what i can do better and what i invite you to join me in is listen more talk less listen more and consider more and focus on being present and listening during the time that they're talking, whoever that they is, whether it's the media, whether it's your partner, whether it's your kids, adults, friends, whatever it is, can you listen and consider and then respond? That's your homework. So take that one on, please. I think that's going to be the, probably the biggest piece. That's one of my things I'm really clear again. I've, I've forgotten, forgotten to do that, so it's time to step up. So I'm going to step into that myself. I invite you to do the same thing. So let's do it together, shall we? Listen more, consider, then respond. That's what I can do better. Okay, I did get to a bottom line. Such, such relief. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. Um, that, was a, that may have been hard for you to get through, and if it was, I, I appreciate it, and I, my apologies. But there's a value in here at the end. Um, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. As I said, this is my Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I do put this onto YouTube later on, and I put them onto my podcast. So we can find them in replay. On my business page on Facebook is where I put my Facebook Lives every day. So that way there's a library there, which is easy to sort through. Whereas on my personal page, stuff gets in there as well. And that is my business page, which is Barry Selby author on Facebook. On YouTube, I have a channel or username, which is Barry Selby. And the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And all my social media is Barry Selby, by the way. You can follow me there. And also on my uh, podcast, which is Messages from the Masculine, in iTunes, you can subscribe there. You can subscribe on my YouTube channel. And you can download my podcast there if you want. So with that, giving you your homework, I think that's about it for today. Um, tomorrow I've got something else brewing. I was going to do it today, but I think it's going to belong more to tomorrow because I need to get this out as, as uh, misshapen as it was when it came out. And clunky as it came out, I... I I got another topic for tomorrow that's a bit more maybe entertaining we'll see thanks for being with me thanks for sticking through this broadcast I'll see you again tomorrow take care of yourself bye